Hello, so I'm going to uh, show you briefly um, my application that I built with uh, React and uh, Tailwind CSS. And basically, it's just the movie search app. So, what you just do is to type in the, the name of the movie. For example, I'm just going to put Avengers and search. And it's going to uh, use the React query to fetch the. Um, the various movies from the API that the database that I used and um, these are some of the Avenger movies we have um, let me try home and see search so it's searching by the keyword for the movies and here we have all the movies uh, from there so the API I used is this one uh, the IMDB API and uh, it has a lot so I was only able to uh, get use the title as you can see here the title and get the image that's uh, the images so I, I I'm yet to put the trailer YouTube trailer and uh, and all that information like the Wikipedia link and reviews and all that so this um, API um, back end is really nice uh, you can check it out and it's quite free um, if you look at my dashboard here you can see I have 100 uh, limited per day so I've used 65 for today so each day they give you 100 then if you want to um, upgrade you can just view the plans and this is um, more of the information on the number of requests you can make per day once you pay so basically i was just using it to uh, figure out how it works and to build my application which is currently deployed here on netlify so you can check it out and if you have any other questions or you want me to improve on this uh, just let me know so um just to show you a bit of the code i used and uh, we can see the app.js file which i created here and uh, you can see it's basically um, using uh, the query client provider that's the react query library so i'm able to uh, get the data fetch the data that way and you can see default options for that uh, the client sets uh, refresh on Windows Focus false, and that means if I click on this or if I come into this page, it shouldn't uh, reload on its own. So that's it. Then the home page itself basically has the um, uh, the states that have been created. I created the temp word. Uh, temporary word is actually what is fed from this um, input here. So whatever I type in here is going to feed into the temporary word. And then if you come down here where we have the button, um, I put um, submit. So it's a form and it says on submit you'd uh, um, run the submit handler which we have here so the submit handler basically prevents uh, refreshing of the page and then it sets the keyword which is another state created here to the temp word so so that um, if I'm putting anything here like uh, soccer something like that oh no that's not spelling soccer uh, soccer like this if I put that and I click on search is going to run this summit handler and it will set that word soccer to this keyword here and and um, it's going to afterwards it's going to clear the uh, temp word the input there and i just put a log so that it will just say refreshing and the once that keyword is searched is fetched is going to now go into the uh, react query here uh, use query um, hook and then um, the keyword is 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 dependent on the keyword actually and it's going to run this uh, fetch movies function and once it fetches that it's going to um, set this keyword here to the keyword we supplied so um, once there is a change in the keyword is going to run this um, it's going to run uh, fetch movies and 
since we have the new keyword that soccer is going to now fetch that so if nothing was supplied it will show uh, spider the search for spider so i'm using axios here and um and what i why i did this on is just to make sure i can set it off maybe when i don't want um, to query the um, the api itself i want to just turn off the system so that's why i put this one here so um that's basically it this is the one that sets the input uh the template that's this um hook here and then i use tailwind css to style this so i basically use the uh, default uh, tailwind css classes and you can see most of them here and finally what i did here was to make sure i set a default image if um the image that is supplied doesn't have a url link so and uh the i also make sure that i specify is loading loading when it's loading and refreshing page when it's refreshing if there are errors or loading errors it's going to say error loading page and um if my system is off then it will say switched off and then if there is an error message supplied from the api itself it will display the error messages and then if i don't get any results at the end of the day it will now say maximum api calls has been used uh, for today which i believe this should already handle but i just put that just uh as uh, just a second in, in case that fails so we now have this which is the main data itself and i mapped through it and i was able to um get all this uh this is the card itself so i was able to set that and style it so basically that's the movie search app and you can go and uh, try it and uh, and uh, that's the link up there i'll leave it the the link for you to to see so so that's it thank you for viewing